Welcome to Questpons YouTube channel and what are we discussing today? Today we will be discussing about the importance of the profile summary page in your resume. So this is a non-technical video but a very important video when it comes to cracking interviews, right? Uh, and very quickly, I would suggest to go to questpond.com. You can also go to questpond.teachable.com and you can watch our interview question video that from the technical aspect, you can see the C-Sharp interview questions, ASP.NET interview questions, Angular interview questions, right? So go ahead, register yourself, sign up yourself and watch these interview questions. Okay. So let us talk about the importance of the profile summary page in your resume. Now, just I want to put a very important point here. For cracking a C-Sharp interview, you need to be 80% technically prepared and 20% is your presentation as well. Presentation involves how you speak, how your resume is placed, how you explain your project and so on. When you look at any developer's resume, you will always find that there is a profile summary page and in this profile summary page, he showcases his technical and non-technical, uh, you know, achievements uh, or the capabilities, right? Now, there are a couple of important points, you know, uh, about this profile summary page. First thing, half of your battle of your interview is won if you write this profile summary page properly. Because this profile summary page is the first page, you know, which catches the interviewer's eyes. The first thing, you know, when he comes and opens his resume, he is going to go and read through the profile summary page. Because, you know, this profile summary page comes as the first thing, you know, before the interviewer's eyes, almost a lot of questions, you know, will come from what you have written in the profile summary page. For example, in the profile summary page, you have written that you understand dependency injection. Definitely, he will ask you about dependency injection. If you have written that in the design patterns, you know repository pattern, he will ask you about, you know, when to use repository pattern and when not to use it, right? So, the profile summary page is from where, you know, the interviewer makes his mind about what kind of questions, you know, I should be asking you. Profile summary page also avoids wander interviews or I will say aimless interviews. What are wander interviews? Wander interviews are those kind of interviews, you know, where the interviewer starts asking questions which, is, which he is good at. For example, let us say that the interviewer is working on an export to PDF component. So because your resume is not showcasing your capabilities properly, he will just ask you about, okay, what is the best way to go ahead and export PDF in C-sharp? So now what happens is, he is asking those questions, you know, which you even probably you have not attempted, right? But if in the profile summary page, if you properly mention and highlight your strong points, it is very much possible you will bring him in your area and the interview almost is controlled by you indirectly. So point number one, in your profile summary page, first go and start making those things bold, you know, where you want the interviewer to ask you questions. For example, if you are good in SQL, if you have worked on triggers, views and stored procedures, highlight them in a bold font. So now what happens is if these are bold, right? the interviewer is provoked to ask you questions around the same. If you say that from design patterns, you are good in iterator and singleton and adapter and so on, he is provoked, you know, now to ask questions around the same, right? So point number one, make the important points bold, you know, by provoking the interviewer to ask you questions around the same. Second thing is, Whenever you write your profile summary page, always make it a verb, make it an action, like saying that good knowledge on experience of working on all phases, designed and developed, hands-on and implemented MVC core concept. So always try to put a verb like, you know, designed, implemented, experience of working on, capability of doing something, right? Always try to make it a verb 
always make it bold and try to bring the interviewer in your area and defeat him. And also please note that at the end of the day, the person who takes your interviewer is again a developer. He's again a person like you who is stressed with projects, who is stressed with deadlines. So taking interview is one of his tasks and he really does not have time, right? So literally I've seen HR, you know, running after the developer saying that, please take the interview of this candidate, right? So what happens is because he's always in a rush, he will just go through the profile summary page and start asking you questions. It is very rare. I've seen a lot of people, you know, they prepare resume like 10 page resume. It is very rare that he will go to your work experience and start looking at things down below, right? So remember that profile summary page is your start. Profile summary page is where the interviewer makes the mind about you. And most of the question will come from the profile summary page. So go ahead and create a great profile summary page, instigate the interviewer, bring the interviewer into your area and don't make it a wander interview.